Okay, hi everybody, welcome to another video. I have my good friend Kayla here. Say hi, Kayla. Hi, Kayla. <laughs> no, you just gotta say hi to, to everybody watching you. Hi. Okay, she's three years old, right? She's gonna be a great model today. So I'm gonna demonstrate how to use some new products that we got in, um, and I think you guys will really like them. So this is the first one. It is made by Krylon. You wanna hold that for me? Don't open it, and it's called Glamour Sparks. And what it is is like an iridescent powder, and I absolutely love this product. It's my new favorite. So, can I borrow this for one second? Thank you. You excited to get your face painted? Yeah. So it's like an iridescent powder. So what I'm gonna do is use my finger like I do with my other blush, and I'm just gonna spread a little bit on her cheeks, on both sides. And maybe you can see this, and what it does is it just gives that slight glimmer. You can put it over your paint, you can just use it bare. Um, you can dip your brush in a wet, or your, dip your brush in water and then draw with it. It's really a cool product. So the next thing I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use um, is this big kind of bell looking sponge. It's called a Maxi Mop. And it has a big round surface and it's excellent for using these rainbow cakes. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Maxi Mop and just rub it right across the surface of my rainbow cake. And basically that way it retrieves the color right on the Maxi Mop. So I'm going to just rub it right down the middle. That way I get the colors on there. Now what I'm going to do, close your eyes for one second. Is close your eyes. Now I'm just going to press it against the skin so that I get that blend. And then what I'm going to do to make sure that it matches up is I'm going to give my Maxi Mop a twist and then I'm going to press it down again. Just so that the colors will line up. So as you can see, I'm getting this blend and then if you want them all to line up, then you need to twist it again so that they line up and press it in. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys what I'm doing today. Today I'm going to do a fairy design on this beautiful Kayla. She is just an awesome, awesome, beautiful kid. So I'm very excited to have her today. So now I'm going to load my Maxi Mop again and I'm going to repeat on this side. At the corner of the eye, I'm not covering the whole eye, but on the corner of the eye, I'm just pressing in my Maxi Mop. And then I'm going to turn it around to make sure that the colors match, and I'm gonna press it down that way. That way, I get the entire cover. Now I'm going to use my brush to outline and create some teardrop strokes. But first, what I'm gonna do is use one of my gems, my Mono Clown gems. And it just has a little adhesive back on it, and I'm going to stick it right in the middle. Now the rest of this is really gonna be made up of a lot of teardrops. So if you're familiar with my teardrop video, I say start practicing again if you wanna get this down packed. So what I'm doing is just loading my brush up I'm using a Majestic Number no. 5 and my Wolf Brothers white paint. And I'm just going to create some teardrops. So I'm going to start in the corner right here. Thank you. Close your eyes. Straight, use the tip, lay down, and bring it down. Next thing I'm going to do is right in front of this swirl, I'm going to lay my brush down and drag, create one teardrop two teardrops, and three teardrops, and extend. So what you see here is three teardrops and a swirl. I'm gonna add another teardrop underneath that swirl, and another teardrops. From the corner of the eye, can you turn a little bit that way? Thank you, pumpkin. From the corner of the eye, I'm just gonna lay my brush down and swirl, and create some more teardrops, one, two, three, right underneath that. This technique really just depends on using and mastering your teardrops. So can you turn a little bit more that way, pumpkin? Thank you. So to finish this off, this design on this side, just some fairy eyes, that's what I like to call it, 
I'm going to add some more teardrops. One long one, shorter and shorter. Did you catch that? One long one, shorter and shorter. She has to turn the face. Can you turn a little bit this way? Yeah. One long and a shorter and shorter. Now I'm just going to fill in with a few dots. Doing so good. Doing okay, Kayla? So I just filled in the rest of this design with a few dots. Turn a little bit more that way. Thank you, pumpkin. I'm also going to add just a few more dots in the corner of the eye. Those little dots make all the difference. Now I'm going to follow this same pattern on this side. So I'm going to start off again with my swirl. I'm going to create one, two, three. From the corner of the eye, I'm coming out and up. Can you turn a little bit more this way? Thank you, pumpkin. And I'm doing one, two, three teardrops. And from this bottom, I'm doing longer, one, two. And again, I'm going to fill in with some dots in the corner of the eye. the other corner of the eye. Now, for the finishing touches is where I'm going to show you some more cool products. Of course, i got to add some lipstick. Do you like lipstick? Yeah? Okay, so I'm going to add some lipstick. I'm again using this Wolf Metallic Red. It is just my absolute favorite color for lipstick because it's that shiny pinkish metallic -y color. So I'm going to use it for the lipstick. Can you turn right to the front? Can you look at the camera? So I'm going to use that for the lips, but what I'm also going to do is use it as a highlight color for this design. If you were to go in with black, what would end up happening is it would kind of throw off the design because black can be so strong. So I'm going to add just a little bit of detail using my metallic red Wolf Brothers. Just with slightly with the tip of my brush, I'm just giving it a tiny bit of shadow on my teardrops. And with the lighting, I know it can be a little hard. Can you turn this way a little bit, pumpkin? Yeah, thank you. So I'm just going to give it a slight shadow. Now what I'm going to do for the final touch is show you guys how to use graffiti glitter. So this product is called Liquid Bling also known as graffiti glitter and it's probably one of the most popular products on the market if you've seen any of Mark Reed's work or Mama Clown this is just a widely used product and what it is is a gel glitter and it comes with this little tip on it so that you can draw with it and do very nice thin lines that's what the tip applicator is used for now you'll want to clean that out occasionally so it doesn't get gunked up so all I'm going to use it for is just a little bit of highlights on my great friend here. So you want to start squeezing it before you touch their face because you don't ever want that middle tip to touch them and irritate them. So I'm just adding a tiny bit of this graffiti glitter as a highlighter. And I know it's hard from this angle to see, but what I'm going to do is turn her around and you'll see it on this side. So I'm just adding a little bit, kind of just tracing my design with it. And this is one way to add glitter. Now the upside to this is that it dries 3D. The downside is it does have about a two minute drying time. So you want to tell the kid, don't touch your face. So for my finishing step, of course I got to add some glitter. Do you like glitter? I'm going to add just a little more of this hot pink glitter with my finger right there, right there, right there, and right there. Smile. Look at the camera, Kayla, and smile. Smile. Big smile. Cheese. 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 Okay. Thank you. you